One way to consider how big the switch is to 988 is to look at staffing. Right now, this facility has had nine full-time positions. It's about to switch to 90. Stephen Groom has been trying to help save lives through crisis counseling for a decade. It's a line of work that has been in greater need since 2020, and as the 988 number arrives, he is hopeful about lives it can change. The more exposure we have uh, for the work that we do, uh, the less stigma will be attached to people reaching out for help when they're in any kind of crisis. This center is expecting 70,000 contacts a year, up from 20,000 contacts currently. Director Ryan Dixon says trained counselors are available at any time. We can help anyone with any level of crisis, anything from I'm having a bad day today and I just need to talk about it to I'm having some pretty dark thoughts and I'm not sure I can stay safe. The overnight shift sees the highest demand. At this facility, 20 or 30 people work overnight. Most of the people we talk to, are it's one of the worst days of their life. And we almost never get to talk to them when it's their best day. But through counseling, at least the day might get better. And the texting option for the 988 number is expected to resonate with young people who prefer its convenience and privacy. It's a very sacred kind of a feeling for me personally uh, to be able to get, to get through to a person who is at the end of everything and doesn't know what else to do. In Iowa City, Andrew Mullenbeck, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.